How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. You guys have wanted me to go back and look at some strange addictions for a long time now. And I've got this one. You guys suggested this. Sex with my car. I believe it is about a man who is sexually attracted to his own car and has a relationship with it. Notice that I don't find this weird. I don't find actually anything weird anymore. It's kind of, um, this is kind of the norm. Now, for me, I've seen a lot of- I've seen a lot of stuff, okay? My name is Nathaniel, I'm 27 years old. And I'm in a serious relationship with my car. God, that got so dark so quickly! <laughs> I wasn't ready! Oh! Whoa, okay. Um, wow. He actually got under that thing. Look at it. Look at that! That is a moment where... You don't want to forget the handbrake. Morning, baby. My handsome man. Man? Is he assuming the car's gender? Nathaniel is in a committed relationship with a car that he's named Chase. He met Chase in a recent- Chase? That's not a car name. <laughs> Chase me! <laughs> a lot, about five years ago. Love you, baby. Oh, sweet Jesus. But is the, how does the car give consent? That's what I want to know. It was love at first sight. His body and then his interior and everything just together just seemed to fit. And I just felt an instant connection. How, how do you... Why, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I have a habit of asking questions I don't want the answers to. But I guess we're going to find out! I find this part of him the most sexy just because of the subtle lines and curves. I'll give him a kiss here. And just kind of caress him down the side. My initial reaction was I was kind of shocked. It was kind of weird because. Yeah, I'm with you there. <laughs> totally with you there. Imagine walking outside and your roommate's under the car going. <laughs> Imagine, what would you do? What would you say? What would you say? Because it was just hard to understand. Objectophilia is when a person develops a strong emotional and sexual relationship with an inanimate object. Some cases include attractions to roller coasters, and an elevator, and the Eiffel Tower. Ma how could you have a relationship with the Eiffel Tower or an elevator? Wouldn't you be jealous of all the people just getting in there and going up and down in your bay all day long? <laughs> like, <laughs> well, what would you do? Like, how would you have that relationship? Honestly, I, I don't know why I feel the way I do, but I just absolutely love Chase. We always have such a good time together. What if he crashed? What what if, like, he crashed Chase? Like, how would he be? Would he react to it like it was a human being killed? I, I'm fascinated and disturbed at the same time. He likes a lot of the same music I do. We have a favorite song. It's uh, Can't Fight This Feeling by Ariel Speedwagon. But how do you know it's the car's favorite song? You're the one playing it. The car doesn't have a conscience. It can't choose anything. Is it weird I find this adorable? It is weird. It is weird. It's really weird. The favorite date would be going to the lookout area. Oh, make out point. You've gone to make out point with your car to make out with it at make out point. I need to put some whiskey in here. We have our times when we get sexual. Oh. <clears throat> oh dear. Okay. Alright. You asked, Daz. Here we go. We <laughs> gotta learn. <laughs> we gotta learn today! Does that feel good? Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't. It makes me- Oh. I feel violated. How does the car feel? You're handsome, man. Love you, baby. I love that someone, whoever edited this, has put really creepy music. <laughs> so I know that I'm not alone in thinking that this is fucking weird. <laughs> what we do the most often is I like to lean over his fender and across his hood. Oh, right over the fender? You just go and you just go lean over the fender like that. All right. And uh, do little things like that. And. Uh, and kind of press up against him and just and rub against him like that. See that eye? That car right there? That's the eye of sadness. That, do you not feel like the car is in some way crying out for help? One of his more bold positions is for me to be underneath him. 
He really likes it. How'd you know? It's a car! Does he think that it likes it? I, I always try and understand from like a mental aspect, like how people think. I can't do that in this situation. It's very special to make love to Chase. I am worried for my friend because <laughs> I am worried for my friend and they use this shot. <laughs> it's like why? <laughs> why are you worried? Like he's he's just making love to the car. <laughs> Why is she worried? I need to hear this. Because it's not normal, and you may have people that don't understand and make fun of you. Nathaniel's so attached to Chase, he rarely lets anyone else drive him, and never lets Chase out of his sight for more than 24 hours. God, I wonder what this is. I wonder what caused... Or causes this because I've seen other circumstances like they mentioned in the video where people are obsessed with like bridges and and benches and just like I just wonder where it comes from you know because it isn't normal it's not something that you see every day there have been times it brought tears to my eyes because I wasn't with him at work his pictures on my desktop so I see his face all the time oh he's got the nudes <laughs> he's got those those nudes on the laptop, the car's like, hey, honk me. <laughs> it really bothers me when he gets dinged or scratched. If something were to happen to Chase, I, my heart would just stop. God, that's what I was saying. Like, what if he got in, what if he got totaled or someone smashed into it? Jesus Christ. I mean, at least in this relationship, like, if your girlfriend gets hit, she's dead. There ain't shit you can do about that. You just, um, you're like, oh, crap, Bay's gone. But with the car... At least you could get it rebuilt or fixed. So I, I guess this is a... There, there are benefits to dating a car, I guess. I gather myself here, I'm sorry. We're on this. I am concerned for Nathaniel emotion-wise. I think life would be easier if he did change. Love you. Nathaniel's roommate, Kim, is one of the few people who know the full extent of his love life. I guess the reason I don't tell a lot of people is because I don't know the response I'm going to get. I always worry about that little bit of disgust that somebody may have. But uh, I mean, like, technically, he's not hurting anyone. Or the car. <laughs> I, I just, like... But, I mean, it is. It is something, like, if you've got to put yourself in that situation, like... Say you've been friends with someone for like a few months and you think, oh, this guy's cool. And then you find out all this. Like, what? Like, what do you do? Like, say you, you go, yo, I need to go to the shops. Can you give me a lift? You're like, certainly. And instead of like putting on the radio and listening to music like you would do with your other friends, he's next to you with the steering wheel, with the steering wheel, like, be like, daddy driving you? Yeah? You want me to honk you? E oh. <laughs> I mean, and you're sitting there like, I'm going to get a taxi. I'm going to get an Uber. Get, let me out now, today. Nathaniel's biggest fear is how his relationship could affect his career as a customer service technician. Please tell me he doesn't work for a car company. Because if he's out there selling cars, okay, and rubbing them, doing all sorts of crazy shit to them before he sells them, that's a problem. That's going to be a problem. People want... New cars that have not been sexually harassed. I mean, if everybody found out, I'd be worried that it may affect my job. But I'll You just made a documentary about it! It's on YouTube! This video has like nearly 8 million views, okay? So many channels have reacted to it, I think, as well. Like, it's had millions of views. Why make a documentary if you're worried about it? Because, I mean, as an employee, like, uh, you know, they're going to, like, look at you and think, well, yeah, we don't want to attach our company to you because there might be some repercussions from this. <laughs> like, don't do a documentary. Just don't tell anyone, okay? It's okay to have some secrets to yourself. I love him to death. I, I wouldn't trade him for the world. Good night, baby. I love you. <laughs> Oh, you know when it just creeps up your back, that feeling. I got a feeling. No. <laughs> oh, it's just the way he talks to it. I can't deal with it. Even even if it, that was a person. You know when there's like you, like new love? <laughs> there's nothing worse than that shit. When people just like they're just next to you on a train or something. And all, the, all you can hear is. <laughs> You're my little smoopsy poo sausage. <laughs> <laughs> like shut up. 
Pussy Poo Sausage. Huh? What is that? You're in love. Fantastic. It's weird enough when the people do that to each other, but to a car? Come on! Alright, so that is uh, the end of the video, guys. Um, I don't think there's any more to say or see, really. <laughs> the guy loves his car. What am I taking away from all this? All jokes aside, this is the part of the show where we um, put all co comedy aside and we have a serious analysis of the situation. And my serious analysis is this. What the hell? What the hell? I mean, even the way, like, the video was edited, it was edited with, like, creepy... Shh, you, you know, ambience, music, every time he went near the car. Like, mo I think most people would find this weird. But I've always, like I said, tried to get inside the minds of these people. I would love to interview them further and ask questions that n most people would ask, you know. I just try and understand how you can be attached to an object like that as you would, like, um... Like, a, a man or woman like, that you love. Like, it's just so fascinating to me. We can laugh, we can make jokes, but, you know, at the end of the day, he loves the car. He's not hurting anyone. Um, I just hope that people leave him alone and, like, don't, like, you know, try and break his car. That's one thought that crossed my mind. Guys, thank you so much for suggesting this video. Let me know if you want to see more Stranger Eviction... D d eviction? Strange Evictions? What's that? I just made up a whole new show. Strange Addictions. Let me know if you want to see more of those. Merch! In the link in the description below. Like, love, caress my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling. Dress you was paid to wear. It's my cross to bear. If I see a sick pic, I'm a click on there. There, 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 there.